Hello class, I hope you're doing well. I am here to bring you Wednesday, May 6th assignments. Before we head over to our calendar, I would just like to show you our end of the year study guide and a couple other things in our announcements, okay? When I am done with this video, it will show up in the announcements and it will be in our calendar page. But right now, I do have our end of the year study guide in our announcement section, okay? And this study guide will definitely help you prepare for your multi-genre test that will be on Thursday of this week, and it will help you prepare for your final. It is three slides in here, okay? So if we expand that, we see right here that we have um, our first slide, second slide, and our third slide. Look at me telling you to do your best and rock the test, okay? Because I know you guys will do fantastic. So definitely go over all of these concepts and ideas, and um, it, you will be prepared for your Thursdays, multi-genre test and your final exam as well okay and also I do have a link for a Google Doc format of it um, so you can click on this and it'll bring you over to the end of the year study guide in a Google Doc format okay so be sure to check that out and I will be sure to email your parents as well um, just a couple reminders look that's our classroom um, and then we also have our summer reading extravaganza information, okay? So make sure you read over this as well. All right, that's enough of that. Let's get started with Wednesday, May 6th assignments. I'm going to go ahead and click on our calendar. Notice my wolf cursor today. It's definitely going to connect with your poem that you'll be reading for Wednesday, okay? So here we are in our calendars there's our classroom again i'm going to expand it and we have our uh, first slide there's monday slides and links tuesday slide and links and over to wednesday today or on wednesday you will continue with poetry and you will continue to analyze and evaluate its meaning on wednesday you will read a poem called wilderness by carl sandberg um, the video that I'm currently recording will obviously go over here. Okay, let's click on fourth period Google Classroom. And let's take a look at our assignment for Wednesday, May 6th. So it's for your wilderness poetry analysis. Notice that our AKS and learning targets have stayed the same over the last couple of days and will continue to stay the same for Wednesday. We are continuing to work with poetry and analyzing and evaluating its meaning. So your learning targets for Wednesday are, I can cite extensive evidence to support thorough analysis of a text. I can evaluate and summarize complex themes or central ideas. I can determine the effectiveness of words and phrases in a text. I can analyze and evaluate the impact of rhymes and other repetition of sounds on a specific verse or stanza of a poem or section of a story or drama. I can analyze how the form or structure of a poem contributes to its meaning and effectiveness. And finally, I can analyze the techniques the author uses to develop and contrast the points of view of different characters or narrators in a text. And guys, just as a reminder, when we read a story or a poem, we are constantly displaying a variety of skills. It's not just a one AKS or skill like you might see in other content areas, but we are reading a passage in order to understand its meaning, in order to identify narrators and points of view, in order to identify and evaluate words and phrases and what they mean through figurative language. So we are always going to be using a variety of skills when we are reading our passages. Let's take a look at our breakdown for Wednesday. Students, I hope you enjoyed the poem yesterday. So I really hope you enjoyed not just the poem yesterday titled This World, but also the poem on Monday, Twice I Walked with Dinosaurs. I personally love poetry. I think it's great. Most poems are really quick um, and very simple to understand. Others might be a little bit more complex, but I really, really like poetry. And I'm hoping that you are enjoying it as well. 
So for Wednesday, you will read another poem called Wilderness. You will continue to read poetry in order to cite information and evaluate and analyze the meaning, theme, tone, figurative language, and much more. As you read each piece of poetry, be sure to annotate and take notes. Read each piece of poetry more than once to gain a better understanding, and remember, the more you read a piece of literature, the better you understand it. Now, lucky for you, each poem this week was read aloud by either me, Miss Lynn, or Miss Vianne. Okay, so you guys got to hear the poems read aloud, and you also got to listen to um, verbal commentary. In addition, we also gave you some review videos. So you were able to listen to me, Miss King, Miss Vianne go over the questions and answers. Um, and obviously you haven't heard that for wilderness today, but you will. And that's what's really great about poems. We can give you lots of feedback and lots of commentary. Okay, so here are your step-by-step -step instructions. So as you read wilderness, you will focus on theme and much more. Think about how you connect to the poem, just like how the speaker connects to the poem. So your first step for Wednesday's assignment, you can review Tuesday's assignment. So it is not required, but it is suggested to click on the answers to this world right here. Okay, I'm not going to click on it, but if you click right here, um, you will be able to watch a video that reviews the answers um, and correct choices for the poem, This World. I think it's a really great opportunity to view that poem and the answer choices so that you can better understand it. For your new assignment for Wednesday, you will read the poem, Wilderness by Carl Sandburg. So you will click on this right here on this document. So let me go ahead and click on it for you. So here's the poem, Wilderness. Be sure to read it over not just once, but several times so you can understand it. When you are done reading that, then you should watch the instructional video. So you can click on this video right here and you will be able to listen to a read aloud of the poem along with commentary, really insightful commentary about the poem. Miss Vianne completed the video. She does an amazing job going over the poem. So I suggest that you watch that video to better understand because this is a more complex poem than Monday as well. Tuesdays and Wednesdays poems were very complex, so it is beneficial for you guys to view the instructional video so that you could better understand them. So once you watch the instructional video, then you should Click on the Wilderness Comprehension Check Google Form and complete the questions. So here is your Google Form to complete for Wednesday, May 6th. Notice that you can get the passage right from the Google Form as well. Look, my cursor matches the picture. How cool is that? All right, scroll down. You have your last name, first name, and your period number. Please indicate that. Um, here you can actually listen to a read aloud version of the poem um, as well. This is a really great audio version, so definitely click on that. It's embedded right in your Google form. And I also have the audio link for the questions and answers being read aloud. So if you would like to listen to the questions and answer choices being read, you should click on that link right there and you will be able to listen to the questions. The good thing is for today, you also have your poem right in the form as well. You have question one and two, three and four and five. You only have five questions today, four of them being multiple choice and one being a written response. Be sure to address all of the questions and you can complete this form as many times as you want. If you have any questions, please reach out to me um, and be sure to click submit when you are done. So if we just backtrack over to our Google assignment, you have your step-by-step -step instructions right here and you have all of your links and documents right here as well, okay? I hope you guys are enjoying poetry. If you have any questions about Wednesday's assignments or any of the assignments of this week, please reach out uh, to me, okay? I hope you guys are doing well. Miss you guys.